what is up you guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl dust back once again with another video and today i'm going to be showing you guys what's in my little traveling makeup bag you guys Ooh. i know you guys are gonna be like oh that's unnecessary to have a big bag like that and all that makeup i understand but like today for example I didn't know what look I wanted to do and I wanted to use the James the James Charles palette. But then I ended up using another palette I got off of Amazon. So it was like when you go out, you would have different choices, you know? You have to have different options and whatever. But before we get started, I'm just gonna let you know that if I'm looking over there, it's because there's a mirror there. And I'm trying to make sure like because right now I look really pale, you know. I don't know but i'm just using this mirror to make sure everything's good okay okay but yeah without further ado let's get started okay you guys so first thing i have that is not in the well there's two things i do not have in the bag is this cup these i have a mason jar and then this cup and this cup is just filled with brushes that are not cleaned and i well, my brushes clean before I put them in a bag with my new clean brushes. So I want these clean before I put them with my clean, clean brushes. And then here I have this mason jar filled with just unnecessary, well, not unnecessary, but stuff I need to just find somewhere to fit in this bag. For example, I have primers, mascara, my concealers. I only have two concealers in here eyeliner stuff for my eyebrows um and face primers in here and now let's get into this okay so one thing that does belong in this bag is this mirror but ooh, but i do not have it in there because i was using it while i was just doing my makeup like 15 minutes ago and yes y'all i did my makeup just for this video and i was just like sitting up there and i'm like dang imagine what these professional youtubers go through like they make sure everything's perfect and i mean i just did my makeup and came over here to film a video but anyways so the first thing i had when i opened the bag is this big bag And then we open it up. It's a lot of new and clean brushes and whatever. Guys, this came off of Amazon. Ain't they pretty? Mm. And they really soft, y'all. Okay, y'all. These are all brushes. All brushes, okay. So these are all brushes. Um, Some of them are brand new. Like, a lot of them on the top are brand new. And the ones on the bottom are used. So, the brand new are the brand new ones are only on the top because I literally just got them. So, yeah, and then I have a case of my beauty blenders. Um, I just use them. These two right here, and then this one fell in my foundation tray. So, but. I use these two. These two are real techniques, and this is Eco Tools. Then here I have my makeup cleansing wipes and cucumber, and I did get these from Marshall for only four dollars. And then I do also have this highlighter trio palette that was a gift for guys I honestly do not remember I think it was my birthday it looks like and I do have the highlighter on now I have this one in the middle on and then this one on my nose as you can see it's really blingy and then this one I this is soft medium and then strong I put this one under, ooh, my nose just went into it. I put this one underneath the one I put here because it's really light. So. 
And then we have another bag. Mm. And then in the bag we have my foundation. This one looks like my skin color, but it, that's what I have on. From Elf, and this is in the shade Honey. And I had the Fit Me Foundation from Maybelline and, and um, Matte in the shade 330 Toffee. But you guys, these two are different colors. One day I'm this color, one day I'm this color. But they're not very off, but just different and weird how I have to switch up with my foundations. And then here I have the MAC Press Plus Prep Plus Prime Essential Oil what it looks like and then let's open it open it i just use this underneath my foundation guys i thought it was gonna look so oily because this is my first time using it not at all I actually made my makeup sit better than it usually does this is what it looks like and then i also have the fit me press powder and 330 toffee also I love my foundation. And then here I have the Aerospun Loose Face Powder. This I cannot use on my nose because when I put it on my nose, my nose does like, it like gets cakey and it peels. So this I do not use on my nose. There's another one that I do use on my nose and I love it, but I did not use this one at all on my face today. I will show you guys which one I used on my face when we get there. And then I also have this highlighter that I got like, I think, one, two, two years ago. From Wish, I mean, not from Wish, from Shop Miss A, the dollar website. It's great. I use it for like the inner corner. I love it. Then here I also have this uh, Feel the Fever MAC um, shadow. Just a single shadow. And this is what it looks like if it wants to go. Okay, that's why you guys not coming out. So, this is what it looks like. It's a cute purplish color, right? Yeah, purplish color. So pretty. And then... I do have this cucumber gel face mask, you guys, with the orange one. Um, Marshall's had these for three dollars, you guys, and I was just like, it's three dollars, why not pick it up? So I got it. I do find high end makeup at Marshall's for low prices. That's what I do, save money, you know. And then I also have another AOA Studio Wonder Baked Highlighter. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And this is in the shade Macaroon. This is what it looks like, y'all. One swatch, okay? My God, it's not picking up like it did in the other video. Whatever, y'all. But this is old, so... It's like two years old with the other one also. And that's all for this bag. And then over here, I have another bag. This is my eyelash bag, y'all. As you can see, I have the Katy Perry lashes on right now. Then I have the little lash tweezers, the lash glue right here. And then I have the Broadway um lashes and they're really pretty and i love them they're very affordable but they look very high end lashes too okay. and here i have the orange one um this is the vitamin c gel face mask these both came for three pesos but yeah 
I don't honestly I don't think these really work I think it's just like just put on your face put on your face and that's it but I mean if you want to you know, cleanse your face this is great for it but if you want it to really work not it but if it works for y'all I mean um, maybe my skin want to act up with the wrong song you know and then here I have the revolution makeup um Revolution London Protection Professional Makeup Palette. It's a little beat up, don't judge. My God, the light is not. Okay, there we go. And basically, you have a concealer, a wannabe pressed powder, bronze, blush, and a highlighter. Yep, and a highlighter right here. Highlighter color is actually very pretty. But this wannabe pressed powder gotta go. Okay. Then here I have this Beauty Gems palette from Ulta. Yeah, from Ulta. It's very pretty, you guys. Like, very pretty. I just love the whole rainbow color. And I was thinking of trying to compare this with the James Charles palette, but I never had time to. And one day, someday, that video will be coming. And I'm currently looking at myself. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, that's it. Thought I had another palette there. Okay. Then here I have the Bobbi Brown Retouching Loose Powder in yellow. And this is what I did use to put underneath my eyes on my nose. T-zone, you know, basically where you should. Um apply the loose powder and it works um, it works good the only reason I didn't use this one is because like I said it dried my skin up and I wanted to try this is my first time trying it today a lot of the stuff that's in boxes like the max stuff in this is actually stuff I just tried today because I got it like last week so yep and then here i have this palette that i did not try this match box um shape matters palette counselor for brow face and eyes palette um i did just get this last week i didn't try it but i seen a lot of good reviews on it on youtube so hope it's still good you know then here i have this Supreme su Seduct. I don't even know what that says. But I did get this palette off of Amazon, you guys. Do you see the packaging? Do you see the packaging? You guys, this is an actual mirror, but I didn't put the stuff off. You guys, look at those colors, y'all. They are... It's like a big on my nerves. They are honestly very pretty colors and this is the palette that i did use right now i mean not right now but this is the palette that i did use on my eyes earlier and i love it honestly i did and they have many versions of the of these palettes like this is another example like cute pastel colors you know cute, cute palette and it was cheap i think it was only like no more than ten dollars no more than ten dollars i know that for a fact and here I have this BH Cosmetics palette that my sister bought me for Christmas. I didn't know your girl wanted it. And before I got the James Charles palette, I was really into this palette. I still am into this palette, but I I probably use the James Charles palette like twice more than I would use this one, but I still both use both of them. And this is a good palette. I do not remember how much it was, but for the shades and pigments, pretty good, you know? I hope I'm getting copyrighted because then I gotta see that long email from YouTube. And then here I have all the way at the bottom our Morphe James Charles palette, you guys. Still have the paper in it because when I make my videos, I want to know what the shade is and whatever. 
looks literally brand new because I used his what is this careless palette because who would it guys the colors are like the most I'll be able to compare this palette with the also one is the blues which I do not know where I put it it's a blues they're both bright and just wonderful just wonderful okay Okay. You hear the music? It's like no. And then here I just have unneeded stuff. I have little mini wet and wild palettes. Then I just have little single shadows. But the box is filled with many of them. As you can see, I have three big palettes. Then that one mini one. You guys see that? And then the rest on the bottom are just all little shadows. You guys, I cannot find my settings for you guys. I was going crazy looking for it. I was like, no, no, I have to hurry up. It's about to be 11 o'clock and I'm still looking for this. So I just set my face with powder. And I said, I'm surprised it looks like this because I usually look, I would usually, you know, look dry or whatever, but not today. Oof, I forgot one more thing, y'all the mac up for everything lash um yo let me tell y'all this i used this the other day for church sunday for easter easter sunday for the first time and it was so hard for me to get the mascara off and i forgot i came with the oil because i was kind of scratching it off not scratching it off more like pulling off my eyelashes but this is the best you see good volume in them they're very lengthy like me i had pop lashes on because the mascara was not going to do it and i didn't feel like having to take it off and go through all that extra work so i just had to pop some lashes on because i'm bald headed when it comes to lashes because of stuff like this waterproof mascara you know but yeah y'all that's all for this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and leave me some video recommendations down below and i will see you guys in the next video Mwah. bye